I got diagnosed with uh, juvenile arthritis at age eight. I was still quite active, you know, in primary school, running around and that kind of thing. I guess it wasn't until maybe age 10 where it started to take a bit more of an effect. Um, started on my right knee and then it spread to my left, which was um, a bit of a bugger. So I was re-diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and then 16, um, it was ankylosing spondylitis. I sort of had to drop hockey and tennis, soccer, played a bit of golf as well, so I really had to drop all sports, including PE at school, so it was a bit of a shame because you watch all your mates running around and doing it, and, you know, I had to drop it for about eight, ten years. So, yeah, it was a bit of a shame, really. I couldn't really do much. I just had to watch and <laughs> feel, <laughs> feel depressed probably for a little while, yeah. Motor racing, I always wanted to do it as a kid and mum wouldn't let me because of the danger factor. And then I guess when I dropped all of the sports and you know, I said to mum and dad that it's the only sport that I can do sitting down and it's not too hard on my legs, so it took about eight years for them to come around, but it finally worked and yeah, it's gone pretty well. I mean, racing door to door with you know, cars around the track's pretty exciting, that kind of thing. But yeah, I guess speed is probably the biggest excitement. Motor racing dream for me is V8 supercars in Australia. So it's um, it's a big dream. It's achievable, but it's um, it's really dependent on money and sponsorship. Drugs that I've been through have worked really well. I can sort of play tennis now again and golf, and the motor racing seems to be fine. Exercising at the gym daily, so so far it hasn't affected me. So I'm hoping that I can stay the same and. If not, get fitter and build up my leg muscles, and yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I guess the advice for someone who just got diagnosed with ankylosing spondylitis, um, you know, initially it's a bit of a shock and you probably don't know what to do, but you've sort of got to look past that, and with treatment and exercise has been a big one for me, that's helped me a lot. Um, so, I mean, I can function pretty well now as long as I look after myself and do the right things, but you can yeah, definitely get there and do what you want to do. This is my dream and I'm doing it, so it's, it's working, yeah.